How's it going guys? Chris back here again with some more Historic Brawl in MTD Arena. But today I know I said I was going to be returning to Elden Ring, and I have been playing a little bit of Elden Ring in my off time, but um, it's just so many fun things to do right now in Historic Brawl. Like, I can't not. I just can't not. That's the problem. I can't not play this because, come on, it's just insanely fun at the moment. So we're actually playing our third crime lord, Jetmir, Nexus of Rebels. He's our token commander. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and have vigilance as long as you control three or more creatures. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and have trample as long as you control six or more creatures. And creatures you control get plus one, plus zero, and have double strike as long as you control nine or more creatures. He's really good in the token deck. Ouch. Painful. And rude. Hmm. Professional Facebreaker is a startlingly powerful card. Like just as far as stats go, I didn't think it was gonna be of much account, but um <laughs> excuse me. It is surprisingly powerful. I don't think we're going to be allowed to keep, yeah. Looks like we're up against Esper. Esper no fun time. Which, they can't Esper no fun time all of my stuff. Like, they can only run. Let me see. 5 minus 100. 95 removal spells. 94 removal spells. I mean, our information is incomplete, but we could also assume they have 40 lands. Yeah, well, there's another removal spell. Ain't that fun. Uh, yeah, I'm going to move to my command zone because he just seems like he might not do too well outside of my command. The nice thing about Tristani is that even if they remove Tristani, I still get tokens. Still get tokens. What land is the best to take out? Probably, probably the Command Tower. I haven't seen them drop a uh, counter spell, so I assume they're not running that many. Really? Well, I don't even feel bad about this now. So they'll get the cards in exile back, so they're technically drawing three off the beginning of this guild, but they only have four mana, five mana now. Okay, I see what you're doing. Very fun. I'm going to hold a Blorfold command, so when they play their commander next turn, I can just snipe it. Gonna make some trolls. So they have six lands, I have seven, so I'll make one troll. Not really a land destruction deck.
Sundown Pass. This is one of the rarer um, lands you see, because you don't often see it that much. I guess there's not a lot of red-white running around. I'm hoping that'll change. I can just make treasures now. Uh, I think bootlegger's stash is bad, which is weird because I crafted four of them. But I, I don't think it's gonna do anything, honestly. It's a little expensive for tap your lands to store up mana. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to start attacking them. I don't control any artifacts. I'm just gonna play Jimir. Might as well make a treasure. Uh, well, make a vehicle. Vehicles are really good against languishes. Which I guess is in the bin at this point, but. Why? What? Neat. Don't know what happened there, but it was very neat. They put an attacking creature on top of their library. They destroyed one of their creatures. And then and then they um then they did a judgment it? Or a Wrath of God? Um don't know what to make of it. Honestly quite odd. Jinkataxius. Uh, I don't know if we'll do well against Jinkataxius. Right, I'm gonna take a free mulligan. Okay, this is slightly better. Deep. Sacred Foundry tapped into a Miri on turn two. Prosperous Innkeeper attack on turn three. Army in a can. Go. Move on. Move on one minute. No, okay. Investigating. Investigating is okay. I don't mind somebody who's willing to investigate. I guess they're just going to try to take something out. I'm still going to create a tap treasure. You guys may not know this about me, but I love token strategies. I really like token strategies. Um, some of my first arena decks were token decks, based around Amiria, and, uh, what were the other ones? Like, you have, um, there's a big X spell. Tap 
treasure. Alright, we're just gonna go for the kill. Like, if they don't answer my board this turn, I just play Jameer and double strike them into oblivion. Like, Mono Blue is not the shell for fighting tokens. Okay. The problem is I still have nine creatures. And I'll have ten when Jameer comes down. Right, that's two extra turns. Dude. Uncool. I can still make this work. So they have a counter spell, that's disappointing. That means this probably won't work. But it might. Okay, it worked. <sighs> yeah, the Jameer in the command zone was lethal. So that was game two. Two victories games that's pretty good that is especially good for this channel like if you watch some of our content you know um, we lose a lot around here so on to game three uh, record setting time probably not I know I've played like mono red decks and some aggro decks that have literally gone three games in ten minutes uh, so this hand is okay but it's entirely contingent upon Magna living and being able to attack. But... Ooh, parallel Ice. Parallel Ice with Brass's Bounty is kind of cool. My poor token has to die, though. That's very sad. I should have played uh, more of the uh, Selesnia mechanic that allows you to tap creatures. Hmm. Yeah, I'll pay one. Not really doing anything anyway, so... Yeah, because of the Legion War boss, that token has to attack this turn. So as long as they keep their 5-5 five five up, they're good. Go, go, suicide token. Not as bad as, like, a Death Shadow deck back in the day, but... We are making that poor Gabo run into an angel every turn. Eh, it's not a bad way to die, I guess. Hmm. I only have six creatures. So like next turn, if I'm, I won't be alive next turn. That's a problem. So we just gotta, we just gotta force a block.
one life. That's unfortunate. Actually, we're live. Thank the gods. Wow. Because that shrunk Angel of Vitality to the point where we're alive. Oh, I thought I was dead. But it's one to one. My Jameer. Go, go, go attacking, Jameer. And I still lose. Angel of Grace. Angel of Grace of all things. Ah, it's an angel. It's on theme. <sighs> well, those are three good games. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll be as uh, well put together as this one, and not, mm, not some sketchy gameplay, because I, I am known for sketchy gameplay. But either way, thank you guys so much for playing. Uh, I will see you next time. Bye for now.